you know, we have been making our fair share of videos talking about guys on the Calgary Flames and how they've been bad, but I don't think we really have explored too much the roots of those problems in Calgary. Because when it comes to the guy that was supposed to be a flame for life, a guy that had the opportunity to stay with the flames and have a storied career that saw him be beloved for his entire tenure with this team, a guy who ended up leaving and going to Columbus of all places, we need to talk today about just how bad Johnny Gaudreau has been too. Now, full disclosure, I drafted Johnny Gaudreau in my fantasy league earlier this, oh, what do I say, season? No, not season, before the season began. So earlier this year, I drafted Johnny Gaudreau somewhere in the mid to late rounds of my draft. And I was saying to myself, you know what, Gaudreau is a really good, talented player. He had 100 points a few years ago. He had 74 points in 80 games last year, and hey, the Blue Jackets just got Adam Fantilli. A lot of their younger guys are getting a bit older. Patrick Laine is a center now, and he's been okay at that. So, we have no reason to doubt the Blue Jackets' upward progression, right? So I took Johnny Gaudreau. And I said to myself, hey, this is going to be an interesting pick, because if Gaudreau can get 100 points again, that's going to be really good for me. Now, I didn't realize at this point in time that my fantasy draft or my fantasy league values hits and blocks way more than it does like regular goals and assists in normal circumstances. So if I had known that, I wouldn't have taken Gaudreau anyway, because the guy never gets any blocks or hits. But... I dropped Johnny Gaudreau quite early on into the season because he was one of my most unproductive players just in general, and checking up on things now and seeing how they've gone, it's gotten even worse. Take a look at Gaudreau and his point production this season in 23-24. In 11 games played, the guy has one goal and four assists for five total points. Gaudreau this season is on pace for 37 points in an 82-game campaign. How is that for a $9.5 million superstar? He is signed on to his $9.75 million AAV deal till the end of 2028-2029. And just this in isolation looks bad. Everybody talks about Jonathan Huberto and the Flame System and Nazem Kadri. We made a video about that already too. But Johnny Gaudreau has been as, if not arguably more, disappointing than both of those guys in Calgary. The only guy who seems like an actual winner in this situation is Matthew Kachuk, who is there in Florida, he's doing his thing back-to-back 100-point -back years, he wasn't disappointing last year, and Matt Kachuk is in a spot where this season he is just under a point per game. He is in for a decline compared to his point production from last year, but at least he is still a point per game. Everybody else in this Calgary circus situation from last year and beyond has been even worse. And you know what? This Johnny Gaudreau situation gets more and more dire when you acknowledge what happened in the Blue Jackets game yesterday. Take a look at this tweet made by Tom Julidi. Johnny Gaudreau did not play in the final 16 minutes and 7 seconds for Columbus last night. Coach Pascal Vincent said, I didn't like his game. Full quote below. I'm coaching a team, and the guys that are going are going to play. It's everything is earned, and when the game starts, it's not about your name, it's about what's in front of your jersey and who we believe are going to give us the chance to win. And we know Johnny can make a difference when he's skating and when he's involved, but tonight I felt he wasn't there. So we're going to play the guys that are playing. It doesn't matter who you are. It's about the Blue Jackets, and I didn't like his game. Pascal Vincent just called Johnny Gaudreau out and made him Johnny on the spot, baby, because that is a big, bold comment. We had seen the other day in Vancouver, a star player by the name of JT Miller get scratched by head coach Rick Tockett. And afterwards, there were some great comments made where Tockett himself said that he felt that Miller wasn't playing well, he needed to sit the four minutes because Miller took some bad penalties and he put the team in a worse spot. Guess what? The guy gets benched, he comes back, he scores a goal in the third period. Beautiful. This is not that. This situation in Columbus is straight up Pascal Vincent saying, yeah, he wasn't good. He wasn't there. He was not involved. So we're going to play everybody else. 
and hopefully send that message to him that he has not been great. And with this in mind, you had so many replies memeing the Johnny Gaudreau situation, memeing the Blue Jackets, asking the question, hey, does Johnny Gaudreau regret his decision to sign in CBJ now? Like, if you think about it like this, Johnny Gaudreau had the opportunity to go to New Jersey. Look at New Jersey right now. One of the best teams in the NHL. Jack Hughes is a top player in the NHL. Assuming the worst doesn't happen and he's able to come back soon, this guy has a legit chance of winning the Art Ross this year. Johnny Gaudreau could have been playing with that in an environment that's closer to home, in an environment that's literally in the state that he grew up in. There's so much fodder in New Jersey that would have allowed Gaudreau to have gotten the big bucks, to have gotten the big minutes, to have gotten big points, and instead he decides to go to Columbus where they were so bad that they were drafting third overall last year. And it's not like Adam Fantilli has gone out there and become an immediate number one superstar either. That guy's taken a little bit of time. I know this because I drafted him in my fantasy as well, and he got off to a really slow start. But Columbus is in such a bad spot. You know who's actually doing really well for my fantasy team from the Columbus Blue Jackets? Yeah, I picked this guy up in free agency. He has been a stud. Eric freaking Goodbranson. The guy whom has 0% people going out there and actually taking him in their drafts, but because my league values hits and blocks so highly, Eric Branson is an absolute point scoring machine. The guy gets like 2-3 blocks a night. No points, but that's okay. Because guess what, Johnny Cadreau's not getting any points either, that guy doesn't have any hits or blocks. So there's no value here, I already dropped both Fantilli and Gaudreau from my fantasy league, they're free agents now, and nobody has decided to pick him up because why would they? These guys have not been producing. For Johnny Gaudreau, things have been so bad to the point that now, people should be clowning on Johnny Gaudreau as much as they're clowning on Jonathan Huberto. But the situation in Columbus is so different from Calgary that you could debate that there's a benefit of the doubt there. Like, go over to the NHL standings, see where the Calgary Flames are, they're one of the worst teams in the NHL. Meanwhile, the Columbus Blue Jackets, they're second last in the Metro, sure, they're above Pittsburgh, but come on, it's Pittsburgh. They're at least doing a tad better than the Flames are in the West. So my question is here, where the heck do the Blue Jackets go from here? This guy signed on till 2029, and he's not producing, he's producing at half a point per game pace. If Gaudreau continues doing this, let's say he finishes off this season not with 37 points, let's be generous, let's say he gets 45 points on the season, and then next season he gets maybe the same amount of points, I don't really see him getting too many more, like, sure he might increase to 47, 48, maybe he gets to 50 again, but if this is the case, he pans out and he stops producing, what do you do with this guy? You can't trade him away. Johnny Gaudreau's got a full NMC. He's not gonna budge. Unless, of course, his play is so astronomically bad that it allows even him to say, yeah, okay, I need to change the scenery. Even though we came here for my partner and her career, we gotta move. I'm so bad here in Columbus. Who really knows? If this continues to the point where he's getting benched even more, he's not producing even more, and he ends up rounding out as a nine point something million dollar player who maxes out at 70 points in his first year with the team, then you got some disaster situation going on your hands there, Columbus. I'm sorry, no amount of Patrick Line center goodness can save you from that if Gaudreau is just going to get scratched again and again. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about this entire Columbus situation? We already talked about the Blue Jackets and Ken Johnson the other day. This has just gotten things even worse, but I want to hear your two cents on this entire Gaudreau benching situation. How he's not been producing, how he's been such a bum compared to what we thought he'd be able to be. Just a few years ago, he was at 100 points. Just last year, 70-something. Now he's on pace for 30? Like, bro... Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Johnny Gaudreau. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.